Hey YouTube, uh, it's our last night in Jerusalem and behind me is the King David Hotel. Uh, this is the most expensive hotel, the fanciest hotel in all of Jerusalem. And uh, we went to we went to the local YMCA because they said that they have very good coffee here, but it, this is not anything like the YMCA that they have in America. <laughs> I didn't see a gym. I didn't see a swimming pool. Um, this this actually has a very tall tower on it. We're on the sixth or seventh floor right now, and uh, there's a balcony here that that looks out over the whole city. You can see out 360 degrees over the whole city. Um, but the funniest thing happened today. Uh, if you go on my Facebook, you'll see that we went to the Holocaust Museum here today in Israel, and it's nothing like the one in Washington D.C. Uh, I grew up at I grew up in Washington D.C., and they had a they have a museum there which is much more graphic, uh, very um, detailed about the atrocities that happen against the Jewish people. <clears throat> But the one here is more to celebrate the heroes of it, the people that rescued Jews throughout that, and um, you know more about their liberation from it. More, uh, you know, a more positive light. You know, it still addresses the horrible things that were done. But here's the thing: when I came here, me and my wife prayed for divine appointments, and we walked into the first section of the museum. And I'm 6'7", so I can see over everybody. I look to my left, and 6, 10 feet away, Jonathan Kahn. I used to uh, I used to listen to a lot of his stuff regarding the Jubilee, the Shemitah, the Harbingers. And I still believe all that stuff's relevant. I don't think that it panned out quite the way that people thought. So I got an opportunity to talk to Jonathan Kahn about the Jubilee, and I said, you know was last year a jubilee the sanhedrin announced it as one and he said that he believed yes it was and the last two uh the last two times that that occurred was 1917 and uh 1967 you know balfour declaration and the uh six-day war so you know i talked to him briefly and i said um the same thing i said in my jubilee video that i put out probably like a week ago i said if the Jubilee hasn't been celebrated since the time of Jesus, and it's just now again being celebrated 2,000 years later, what does that say about the time of the Jewish expulsion throughout the world? You know, at the, at the Holocaust Museum, there was, a, there was a scripture verse on the gateway out, and I believe it was Ezekiel 37:14. I can't exactly quote it, but you can look it up. And um, there's so many scriptures that said that the Jewish people would be brought from all the corners of the earth where their Lord, um, you know, exiled them, and that they would be brought back into their own land. So uh, it's just been an awesome day. We had no anticipation of being able to come up here to the top of this tower, and now we get a wonderful view of the whole city. Um, the rest of the tour group is going back to America tonight, so we got to run off to dinner. We're going to have dinner with Paul Beckley one more time, and we got to see the garden tomb today. Uh, if you have an opportunity to come to Israel, I absolutely recommend it because there may be a lot of kind of goofy, extra religious church stuff on top of some of these sites, but some of this stuff is very authentic. I felt like the garden tomb was a very... Um, it was a much more authentic experience because it's it's so much more humble than that that church of the the Holy Sepulchre. You know, there's all kinds of Catholic decorations around there, like pictures and and you know all these fancy chandeliers, and everybody's trying to you know kiss pictures and and uh, you know bowing down to. A star on the floor that's supposed to be where Jesus was born, you know, stuff like that. So, if you have an opportunity to come to Israel, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, come with a tour at least once, but then come back and come see other stuff. Uh, you know, because there's a lot here to see. 
So just saying as as a whole this tour has been fantastic. I've loved it. The weather's been wonderful in the middle of November. Huh? Huh? What? The wife's trying to talk to me in the middle of the video. So, um, that's what I got. You know, I got to see Jonathan Kahn today. Got to see the garden uh, tomb. We uh, we did a lot of cool things here. Saw a lot of sights. Perry, oh, and uh, you know, Perry Perry's here in town somewhere, so maybe we'll run into Perry before we leave town. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're gonna run we're gonna run off and uh, go have dinner with the the tour because they're leaving for the airport tonight, and then. Early in the morning, we leave back for America. So uh, my next video may be, you know, snow and cold and all that. So it's been a great experience. Uh, yes. God bless. Talk to you later.